After delays due to the coronavirus pandemic, a brand new museum dedicated to New Orleans culture is set to open next month. It's so cool. One major issue, though, that they had to address is that the museum is very hands on. Photojournalist Derek Waldrop found out how Jam Nola had to rethink the eye catching exhibits to make them safer for visitors. I feel like a museum's a little bit of an old fashioned name. I think uh, Jam Nola is a cultural funhouse. Topsy turvy, the upside down strolls through some of the best cultural gems of New Orleans. Pulled through the eyes of 20 local lead artists. A title that come outside. The neighborhood feel of Mardi Gras and second line culture. This room is a celebration of contemporary carnival and handmade costuming, which I think is one of our most incredible forms of creative self-expression that we indulge in here in New Orleans. So Jim Nola was originally supposed to open uh right before the French Quarter Festival in April um, when COVID-19 happened. We actually asked all of our artists to um, transform everything, to make them contact lists, um, to change the exhibits and reimagine them. It was really gratifying to be able to reach out to different artists and offer them a commission. During these times, the people that have been hit the hardest are our artists and our musicians. It was support that we needed, and it was a creative distraction, which really, really helped. I hope that locals come in here and see themselves. Just watching everything come together was amazing in itself. I've always wanted to bring joy to people. And are instantly transported to the joy they feel on the streets on Mardi Gras Day. The only place you could ever do joy, art, and music would be here in Anola.